booties, it's your girl at Christine, and today I am checking out Brew Stew playing hooky. Link is in the description box below for you to check out, and we're gonna see what it was like for him to play hooky. I was this, you know, an angel of the Lord during school, so I have definitely played hooky <laughs> a couple of times, but not a lot. I would say like two. Like one time I was like, you know, but out of times that I wasn't actually sick, like maybe one time I was actually not sick and I feigned being sick because I was tired. I just didn't want to go to school. I just wanted to sleep in. And another time, um, you know, the juniors and sophomores had to take the FCAT and seniors didn't. So I went to Cracker Barrel <laughs> for breakfast and then just went to school late. Skip that. Skip the first half of the day. It was a great day. Ah, first time I had Cracker Barrel. It was great. It was great. Anyways, yeah, link is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Now I think it's safe to say that most of us were guilty of playing hooky at some point when we were kids. At some point, yeah. Out there, playing hooky is where you skip school and you stay at home. I know it mm -hmm. sounds like some old-fashioned phrase that your drunk Uncle Rick would say. Ah, what are you playing hooky from school today? Drunk Nobody knows Uncle Rick? Talking about Uncle Rick? No wonder why you haven't felt the touch of a woman since the 1980s. Oh I my gosh. Hooky was a nice little break from school. Hey, oh my gosh. Poor guy. When you're a kid, you wake up at the ass crack of dawn. <laughs> Three right company. Ah, uh, hell, I got a math test today. It's on that order of operations crap that I haven't been paying attention to. Oh, PEMDAS, to yeah. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally if she did. <laughs> oh, hell that, I'm not going to school today. I'm going to pretend <laughs> He's that so angry. God, now you got to try to figure out a way He's to get so yourself angry. an artificial fever. Hold on, okay, hold on. I am so bad at this. <laughs> okay. Like, you make me feel young and then old again, okay? Young with that Three's Company poster, because what age are you to have that on the wall? Like, what... How old are you at that point? But then you bring out the light bright, and I mean, them two don't match, okay? Because light bright, I remember when I was a kid. Three's Company, that poster. <laughs> sir, sir. Forehead on a light bright, try to raise your body temperature up to a solid 101, 102. That, that is hilarious. Room and lie straight to your mom's face. Hey, uh, I don't feel very good, and um, I've been pooping a lot. You've been pooping oh, a lot? Oh, dear. How much is a lot? Oh, yeah, uh, you can't really... Times, six oh times. my Holy goodness. Hell, we need to get you to the hospital. Right, oh, right. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, maybe not that much, but uh, <laughs> my head feels really hot, though. Good Lord, you are burning. Yeah, 16 hot times so, like, this dehydration. For some reason. Okay, hot you're not plastic. Going to today. All right, mission accomplished. You did Aww. it. You tricked your gullible ass mom into letting you stay home from school. So now you're laying my on gosh. Like it's your own fucking personal gurney. You don't even have the mm -hmm. decency to change out of your Hong Kong fluey pajamas for Christmas. No, you stay, stay in your PJs. By the gallon. Make sure I... you drink all this. It'll slow down all those shitty escapades. You've been having. I know oh, most people dear. taste the Pepto Bismol, but when mm -hmm. I was a kid, I loved that weird pink milky shit. Like my it was it wasn't bad. When I was a kid, would be like Mountain Cooler Capri Sun, Pepto Cooler High C, well. and then fucking boom, Pepto Bismol somewhere in between. Hell, even as an adult, if my stomach starts going, <laughs> blah, 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 I get all excited because now <laughs> I have a reason to drink some goddamn Pepto Bismol. Shit's good. No. I don't okay. care. You should serve that shit at restaurants. <laughs> okay, sir. No. <laughs> Now, listen, I did not mind the taste of Pepto-Bismol. Top three drinks as a kid, though? F that. F out of here that, okay? F out of here with that. But I can say, yes, I do like the taste of pepto As far as medicines, it's probably one of the best tasting medicines. Um, Robitussin? I freaking... I, as an adult, I think a few years ago, I tried to do Robitussin because I was sick. And... No, that's more than a few years ago. My gosh. It was definitely more than three years ago because I haven't had like a cold, cold um, outside of COVID <laughs> since my daughter was born. But Robitussin, it, uh, but uh, and Vicks uh, drink, uh, Dayquil, uh, but Pepto-Bismol, it's top dollar, top dollar. Pepto. That's disgusting. Good That's stuff. disgusting. Anyways, what the hell was I talking about? Goddamn, I'm <laughs> on a fucking tangent on Pepto Bismol. Oh yeah, play a cookie from school. <laughs> that wasn't yeah, even his point. Slug, pretending you have typhus and shit. Well, now what are you supposed to do? Well, mm -hmm. you watch shitty daytime TV is what you do. And shitty daytime so TV offers. has all sorts of things to offer. You'd have your talk shows like oh, Maury. Povich, where they do mm -hmm. paternity tests on the daily. There ain't no way yeah. on that baby's daddy, Maury. That girl sleeps <laughs> with everybody. Hell, she probably <laughs> fuck a pack of hot dogs if they look at her the right way. Well, oh my results are in. Gosh. The four-year-old Smith and Weston Jr., you are not the father. <laughs> Smith and Weston Jr. <laughs> they always run screaming <laughs> and they stop in the hall. Soap operas that my mom was totally fascinated by on the next episode of The Young and the Worthless. <laughs> I'm pregnant with your baby. With all the 
man, you've been with Veronica. There's no way I'm that baby's father. Hell, you'd probably fuck a pack of hot dogs if they looked at you the way. <laughs> Veronica would too. She's such a fucking slut. Oh, oh yep, goodness. Sure oh my goodness. That were on during the day, there was one mm -hmm. that beat the hell out of all the others. And that Which one? Of course, was the Price is Right. Oh, the Price is Right. Now, the Price is Right had everything. You got fucking Plinko, people winning Ford Escorts and shit, Bob Barker yelling at you to get your goddamn pets fixed, and remember to help control the pet population, chop your what? fucking balls off as soon as you can. You got what? You fucking assholes outbidding each other by one dollar and shit. Uh, <laughs> 600, Bob. Very well, what's your bid? Uh, how about 601, Bob? Yeah, I've, oh, I've wanted to do that before. I wanted to do that before. Oh, mother There you go. serious? God, but you're a fucking piece of shit. My goodness. He's upset. Hot dogs. If they look it through the right way. Because I knew it was only a matter of time before my dad got home from work. And then the mm. shit was up. Bro, what the mm. hell? What's the kid doing home from school? Ah, uh, he was sick, so he stayed home. What? What the hell? That kid ain't sick. Did you throw up or something? Uh, no. You've been putting your fucking forehead in that light right again, haven't you? Yeah, oh. you better take your Snap. plain cookie ass to school tomorrow, I tell you what. So the next day you show oh, goodness. up school, goodness. you have to start bragging to all your friends about your day off the day before. Hey, mm -hmm. asshole, why weren't mm -hmm. you at school yesterday? Oh, well, because I was too busy watching The Price is Right and fucking off all day, that's why. Oh, well, you're an idiot. We had a pizza party yesterday. Wait, oh, what? It was yesterday? Yeah, that and then sucks. Yeah, assembly in the auditorium. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I that sucks. Randy Macho Man Savage. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. Never <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, what have I done? The oh, the yeah. story is simple. One, don't be an asshole and lie to your mom. Two, learn the true. goddamn orders of operation. And true. three, take your truant ass to school like you're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you never true. know when a two-time WWF heavyweight champion is going to be a guest speaker at your school. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, never do a slim. You <laughs> my biceps. Not none of these kids. Com. That... That sounds so creepy, BrewStew.com. But that sounds like one of those um, uh, uh, voiceovers for like. Well, no, I think I think of some of these commercials that be out here in this world. Um, so freaking hilarious. Um, I remember PEMDAS. I actually, I, you know, I was kind of a nerd in school. All right, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I was, I was with that. I would have to say that I love the way that he tells stories. I love, he just sounds like, <laughs> he just sounds like you asked like your grandpa, like, hey, what were fun things that you did as a kid? And then he goes off on this tangent, <laughs> so, like a grumpy, grouchy tangent. And then you're like, but grandpa, that wasn't my question. <laughs> you know, like you ask a question about like, oh, you know, uh, grandpa, do you do you mind passing me the gravy? And then this is what he told you. <laughs> and, I, and this was like, so can you pass the gravy still? Is that <laughs> not a no? Is this a way for you to tell me no, grandpa? Um, that's definitely the vibe that I, I, I get from him with how he tells stories. He just seems so so crotchety. <laughs> <laughs> in the funniest way um like he was mad about the the PEMDAS and he had a lot of passion about that that uh uh Price is Right because I mean I've seen Price is Right a few times like I, I've seen it a couple times with um Bob on it and then with uh Drew crap what was his last name um Drew Carey that was his name um, what's he doing nowadays? Drew Carey. I used to love the Drew Carey. I used to be a fan of Drew Carey. Like the Drew Carey show. Then he had um, the, uh, yeah, let me, hold on. I'm pulling him up really quick. He's, I guess he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Yeah. Whose line is it anyway? Freaking love that show. And I was in love with Wayne Brady. Okay. Oh man. Drew Carey, what you doing now nowadays, boo? I wonder, is he on like social media? Because that would be hilarious. I feel like at a certain time in your life, some people are not uh, meant to be on social media. But then if they are, it's hella crazy interesting to see them. But um, uh, I don't know if he is. Anyways, the um, this was hilarious. This was hilarious. I wanted to do the whole you know, bid like a dollar more. Cause I'd be like, why are people doing that? <laughs> I'm just like, let me just try it out. Just try it out and see. But, um, uh, uh, this is great. This is great. 
this is this is great like this isn't this doesn't take me to oh my memory is nostalgia thing this is just like man i want you to tell me another story because the way you tell stories is just absolutely hilarious I like the running joke about oh she'll probably f a hot f a bunch of hot dogs a packet of hot dogs if it looks at her the right way love it and then he kept that going to where the episode was sponsored by oscar meyer hilarious let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section did you play hooky and what shows were you watching when you played hooky because i had a different set of shows that i would watch but what shows were you watching let me know down below if you like that video check out the link in the description box below to support bruce Stew and everyone involved in making the video if you like this video hug the life on that like button i love you guys as always and until next time buddies toodles